In 2012, Leisha Project crossed the Mediterranean and spread into the Middle East region. Lucia is a network of groups uh, started in Europe uh, 25 years ago and it's really all about uh, promoting freedom of expression, freedom of speech and collective creativity. What um, Lucia does is get people together and share their ideas and kind of discuss a lot of topics on the paper. The outcome of the, our workshops is, uh, is posters. They're supposed to make people who, who come across these posters to stop for a moment in their busy life and to think about something and also to move them into some actions. The aim of the organization is to promote active citizenship, sharing people's ideas and thoughts and striving towards change and a better world. Slovenian organization PINA, who initiated the project with Leisha International, invited new ambassadors from free Middle East partner organizations to the first meeting in Glasgow. Lucia. 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 Creative writing of Lucia posters has its routine. Participants write down association on the chosen topic and after brainstorming, the best ideas are designed into posters. Can I ask a little question? The name Lucia, does it have a meaning? Yeah, it's a Dutch girl's name. So Dutch it would girl. be like Lisa, maybe? <laughs> yeah, okay. To be not for the next one, but the one that... <laughs> yeah, okay. Ha! 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 He! The characteristics of Lucia is really this solidarian, anti-authoritarian, sexually free. So there would be a lot more kind of this, you know, joy of life yeah. rather than this judgment. Why are, yeah, the yeah. judgment yeah. and stereotypes and why are you doing it like this? This method um, makes people trust themselves that they have something to offer, and this is kind of also the long-term vision we have with Lucia. Is really this to kind of that all people have a lot of capacity within them to help people believe in themselves and bring out this, all the great things that they have. Yeah. And they don't mind. The organization started in 1998. Uh, as you see before in Lucia presentation, Slovenia was one of the first uh, and was very active. So at the time I was 14, when I was going to school, I saw these posters, but I didn't know what it was, but it was interesting to see. And then in this project we found the, the headquarters. Like you see on this PowerPoint, the aim would be achieved by spreading the Lucia creative writing methodology which supports active citizenship, freedom of expression in a tolerant and open-minded way. But we have a lot of really non-professional people that are in politics and a really, really good base of people that don't want to interfere with them but really know what kind of things should change. They know how in theory the democracy works. They know what kind of process people go through but when you ask them do you feel competent they say no for them it's not possible to imagine that political participation could make a difference Russia should be presented like a really powered tool or even stronger really power weapon and i think that this is this is one thing that all of our organization, it doesn't matter how different they are, need in nowadays to fight against apathy. 
find a pot. Is there anything that you can see? Like, you people that were like... Uh, money and <laughs> So at the end, a lot of rubbish like everywhere. Okay. Partner organizations have presented their history and different methods they are using. 43 year country, okay, uh, the main country in Alexandria, uh, and then we can make an intercultural workshop in our organization. We made a Facebook timeline here, uh, our movement's timeline and our political timeline in the region. We founded Exchange Scotland in, in 2007. I think I met Lucia in 2007 also. Abdallah from Gaza, the event manager, arrived. Our organization wants to send the participants from the West Bank. They choose like to send the Palestinians to the Israel because we don't need this. Lucia. 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 The next step was searching among relevant topics and preparing brief examples. Short and to the point. Yeah, it's a plus if the text is a bit like positive. It's not a must. Am I uh, responsible for the Israeli-Palestinian conflict? Like, am I creating it, or am yeah. I, or am I just passively experiencing it? Experiencing it, yeah. Like racism, but to discriminate people on, on their age okay. because they are young or old. So, ageism, my opinion, doesn't have an age. Or for me, it's a bit like I read it and I read it. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. And it's, as I said before, like yesterday when we write, you should really have this open mind and yeah. really not, not try to block yourself or to think is this good enough. Maybe gently so Yeah. Like this? Yeah. Yeah. A friend, a stranger, stranger, Is there anything you think? Do you actually have inner peace or anything is complex? Mm -hmm. you, you accept it? No, no. I don't know. If it's, you can also make it more personal. Like, I wish it was one thing. You used to call me human. You can't choose your birth or how you are born, but you can choose your life, how you live. I, I would like to keep going, like, to work on this one. Yes, it's nice. Right. Because I think it's not generally quality to be with the patient, the freedom to be who you are. It's not, mm. you can be who you are, mm -hmm. not related to the, to the general point. It is very connected, because if there would be gender equality, or not such a binary distinction between what a man and a woman should do, then it is a freedom to be who you are. Is it only on birthday when you start looking at the past? The past? No, yeah, because then yeah, you can just put the yeah. birthday away. Ah, okay. Just like, uh, yeah. yeah. Because uh, actually it can be like, not only birthday, it can mm. be any, a lot of... Yeah, yeah, a lot of... After any experience, you just... Yeah. Lucia. 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 The final task included the use of Leisha method to form posters in groups. Then you take another one and then we just kind of circle around and if maybe you get inspired by what someone else has written, then you can use like, make a line. First this on thing and I pass this on. Yeah. If I put this on top and then later he takes this and I put this.
each of us gets to move each poster once. And if you like it, you move it one step up. And if you don't like it, you move it one step down. So each of us get to move each poster yeah. one time, up and down. Mm -hmm. Can we move it a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Not only uh, yeah. the mythology which is good for writing, it can be uh, yeah. reflected to a lot of uh, things you do in life. And I'm, I'm very uh, excited about to see yeah. the posters from the two other groups. I hope we have a nice balance yeah, also. Did everybody know? Since what Lucia does is very connected to freedom of speech, like the method gives young people a voice to express themselves about the issues that they find important, I thought a good entry to this is also that we would present the freedom of speech situation. How is it? What are the obstacles? Um, like, are young people aware of their rights? Are they, you know, what is their access to this? Lucia. 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 I suppose mine is just one of being a young person uh, who's unemployed and spent like 22 years in education, uh, in school and university. You know, I feel like inadequate after that, uh, that I couldn't really get a job or get anywhere in life. And uh, yeah, it's just been, it was like a bit of a struggle. The social realities that I live in are as a Glaswegian, uh, as a Scot, as a Scot of Irish descent, as, as a Celtic fan, and a whole range of other cultural identifiers that place me in a certain point in time when it feels like the world is a little bit looking for the next stage. The best thing about the Sense of Receptionism campaign is uh, just like working with uh, young people. Because uh, when I was growing up, I had no, no idea what sectarianism was. And when I'd beat the football, I'd probably say, I, I was saying sectarian things. I'd like, say fuck the Pope and things like that. And I had no idea what it meant or how mm. it, it was offensive it could be. So, yeah, it's only, you know, after I've like, sort of grown up and sort of realised uh, how that can be uh, thought of. And yeah, I think that's like the most important thing. That's a problem that's been going on since the 1500s, I mean, how, what are you going to change that's, you know, that's happened in nearly 600 years and the, are you going to be able to change it? That's just the way Glaswegians are or that's just part of life, you know, mm. the Irish and the Scotch Protestants will, will never get on. Or, yeah. But what we do have is, is, is a load of great people who are looking for fantastic opportunities mm. and it's such a beautiful thing to be able to go around the country looking for fantastic projects that you support, yeah. like, I, I honestly... Some people like think I'm daft, but I could do this job forever, you know, because like you get to learn so many things about so many other people, and you get to learn a lot about yourself, and you're constantly reminded because you're meeting different people from different backgrounds, and you know you have to find out what somebody else's goals are and how you can support that, because only by supporting their goals can you achieve you what it is, mm -hmm. and so you get all those learning experiences. So I think yeah. the big thing is that partnership building. One Voice was founded about 10 years ago in the height of the Second Intifada. It was brought in order to amplify the voice of the moderates. In every society that there is a moderate majority that is silent. And we believe that if this majority 
begins to think, speak and act differently, it will have a major component in ending the Israeli-Palestinian conflict in our region. What we decided that is important is uh, to bring this voice of the moderate people to the leaders. The voices that they hear on a day-to-day -day basis are those of warnings from the military intelligence. So we decided it's important to bring the voices of ordinary Israelis and Palestinians to decision makers. We organized an event with uh, roundtables that put on eye-to-eye -eye level uh, leaders uh, from the Knesset, leaders from civil society, with ordinary citizens who were um, invited to join. Some 700 uh, people joined this event and uh, spoke dugri, <laughs> spoke honestly with the leaders about what matters to us the most. We can pressure them just like the fundamentalists. We can make a difference uh, just like they can and uh, even tilt the uh, reality towards us. I'll show you another example of things that we do. We always have to use a lot of creative uh, measures to get this uh, issue which uh, you know, has been on the news for 20 years and been tiring people, exhausting people. We have to re-invoke the interest in them. Uh, so what we did here, we took the boulevard in which all the social demonstrations took place originally and we erected a huge wall of ice. We put in it a lot of uh, posters mentioning the social needs that are just not funded right now. 70% of Israelis accept compromise in polls from 20 years now. Compromise of two states, seven, uh, a similar number in the Palestinian side. What is difficult, this was the good side, the difficult part is that an equal number doesn't believe that it's going to happen. <laughs> שלי, אני חושב שכולנו נולדנו לתוך זה בישראל וזאת מציאות שלומדים לחיות איתה אבל לומדים לחיות איתה כמו שלומדים לחיות עם צליעה או עם איזושהי מחלה קשה שדוגרת בך וזה אחד מהסיבות לכך שאני פעיל ושאני לא חושב שזה בריא לסחוב את המציאות הזאת על הגב שלנו ואיתנו. אני חושב שזה מאוד מסוכן. I was born and raised in Tel Aviv. It's a great city in the center of Israel, next to the shore. And I think this is one of the main reasons that when I was young, I felt that there's no conflict. I didn't know about the conflict. The situation is in Israel that there's a lot of uh, apathy in Israel. Like people don't want to act. and to do something about the conflict. People went down to the street about uh, the price of the cottage, cheap. So it's not about everything, it's especially about the israel palestinian conflict. The biggest question mark we have at the movement is actually how to engage. And I guess every uh, organization here deals with this important question is how can we engage volunteers? There were just people who just stand there and looked and someone they said, oh, it's important, and joined and froze with us. And this is exactly what One Voice is all about, is to spread the message and to express that the message of the two-state solution is what the majority wants and we just need to get the majority to speak up. So, I'm from a place of education. And the things that I see in my country, that I don't love, are not only related to... לסכסוך הישראלי פלסטיני ואני מרגישה שכמו שאני חונכתי לאהוב את כל האנשים בלי קשר לאיזה דת הם או איזה עדה הם או מה הצבע העור שלהם ו... ובמקרה שלי זה עבד אני חושבת שהמסרים שהיום הנוער והילדים מקבלים הם מסרים שגויים והנוער הוא בעיקר זה שנופל הקיצוניות אני חושבת שחלק ממה שאנחנו מנסים לעשות זה להגיד לאנשים, תדמיינו. כלומר, אנשים היום בישראל, כשאומרים להם, תדמיינו שלום, הם אומרים, הדבר הבא אחרי הדמיון של השלום זה מלחמה. כלומר, אנחנו מנסים להוציא אותם למסגרת אחרת, שאפשר לדמיין שלום, הסכם, ובאמת יהיה הסכם, באמת יש פרטנר. ואני חושבת שחלק ממה שאנחנו מנסים להראות, שזה לא רק דמיון, אלא זה, זו מציאות. We are a youth organization. We started in 2014 with 
started in 2003 as a group of uh, pharmacy students who want to explore the world and to get to know many people from different cultures and to um, know about their other countries. Our activities, we have local activities and international activities. Hello, my name is Hola. I have been a volunteer in the GMB organization for like a year and a half. يعني عندنا مشكلة البطالة طبعا عندنا شباب كتير قوي مش لاقيين شغل ودي مشكلة طبعا ما هو يعني دي مشكلة بسبب ان ال... يعني عندنا النظام ما بيحاولش اللي هو يستفيد من ال... من الشباب دوت فبيعين الناس بالكوسة بالواسطة وبالفلوس فعشان كده بتلاقي الناس اللي ما معهاش فلوس هي بتبقى مظلومة في البلد للأسف مش بس كده احنا عندنا مشكلة في التعليم التعليم ما عندنا يعني بحتاج يتغير كل المناهج ويحطوا مناهج أفضل بكتير يعني تساعد الطالب إن هو ينمي مهاراته وإن هو يبتكر لكن إحنا عندنا مشكلة إن كل الطلاب بتحفظ ومشكلة الفساد دي بقى مشكلة كبيرة ما هو يعني <تصفيق> إحنا عندنا 80% فساد ما إحنا شلنا يعني الأساس بتاع الفساد اللي إحنا شلنا يعني كان أس الفساد دوت اتشال هو والناس اللي حواليه وبنحاول نبدأ يعني عارف أكننا إحنا واقفين على ال على على ارض جديده بنبني زي هرم هرم من اول وجديد فحطينا الاساس ولسه بنبني طوبه طوبه فوق بعضها فمشوار كتير يعني هي مشوار طويل شويه آه بس مشوار كتير يعني مش لازم نخاف يعني لازم نبقى متفائلين once the revolution came to tunisia people thought okay we gonna do it Okay, so people went to streets just against the system, against the, the corruption of the system. So a crash happened on the, 19, uh, on the 28th of uh, Jan, okay, it's called uh, Friday's Anger. On that day, I was decided to, to go to like, the market to bring my jewelry, to bring my rings, to get engaged. So I was talking about tomorrow we are going to do blah, 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 blah. And she told me, Ayman, tomorrow people say that there is something <laughs> bad happening. <laughs> I told her, no, 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 don't worry. We got to do it. Don't worry. Okay? Okay, I have a small video that you can watch. Okay. 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 The work of NGO, we stopped yeah. for almost like 20 years. احنا عندنا حاجات كتير بنشتغل بيها في الجمعيه وفعاله جدا وخصوصا مع الشباب يعني احنا اول حاجه ان احنا بنساعدهم ان هم يلاقوا شغل ان احنا بنديهم كورسات في كل المجالات اللي هي ممكن تساعدهم زي مثلا ال اتش ار مثلا زي الماركتينج مثلا سوفت سكيلز دي ممكن حاجات دي فيها كوميونيكيشن سكيلز تساعدهم قوي عارف برضو احنا عندنا حاجه كويسه اللي احنا يعني متاكدين ان الاساس في المجتمع بتاعنا اللي احنا نشتغل مع الشباب هو ده اللي نقدر اللي احنا نوصل ليه ونقدر اللي هم نوصل لهم حاجه كويسه هتفيد بيها المجتمع بتاعنا ده اللي احنا بنحاول نعمله ان احنا نساعدهم ان هم يشاركوا في المجتمع اكتر you, you may hear that uh, the revolution in Egypt didn't succeed or still ongoing yes it's still ongoing yes and the fact that people that went to Tahrir Square during the 12 or 11 days of the revolution, they are the core of the revolution. You cannot find uh, a person that he is the one that uh, first called for the revolution or called to go to streets. But what makes them powerful after is the Islamic party because they are the most organized party in Egypt and they were working hidden in the time of Mubarak because Mubarak didn't give them a chance and then they, they took everything and then the, the, the small liberal parties, they couldn't continue because they, they were just the small uh, parties. Do you feel that you achieved something or is just a confirmation that it's not true that being active and being against something and fighting for it yes. brings only good? Yes, for me, I feel that I'm stronger. For me, I didn't think to, to go to project with partners from Israel. This is a fact. I was afraid. And they can investigate about my, my trip and they can follow me. And once I arrive to Egypt, they can catch me. But right now, I'm not afraid. In which countries can you enter? Uh, you can go to all? No. To which you can go? 
nothing, no one. Know. Yeah, I should have a visa. I should uh, get visa for every country. Okay. Yeah. يعني عايشة هيك بواقعين الواقع اللي أنا موجودة فيه حاليا اللي هو كوني أنا فلسطينية ساكنة بإسرائيل مع تاريخ للدولة عم بتحاول إني تمحي لي إياه وإنه تشوهه وفي الواقع الثاني اللي أنا عم بحاول إنه أغيره اللي هو عن طريق الجمعية اللي أنا بشتغل فيها اللي عم بنحارب العنصرية بقلب الجماعات اللي بنحاول قد ما بنقدر إنه نجمع تصريحات عنصرية أو أعمال عنصرية اللي عم بتصير بقلب الجماعات ونحاول إنه نعرضها للرأي العام ونشوف إيش بنقدر إحنا نسوي فيها ونحسنها. They write Palestine and part of it is not written. Yes. On this map, it's not written. It says only Israel, and then you look at the map of Israel. Also, it misses like Gaza is inside. Before 1967. No, it's just made in China. I don't think. Palestine is not on the map. When they ask me like to define myself, I said I'm Palestinian who living in Israel. Although we have like different names and different uh, definitions. Uh, some will call us uh, Arabs who live in Israel. Uh, some call us Israeli Arabs. Some call us uh, 48ers. 48ers. <laughs> so we have like different names. No, I know that I'm going to be very sad. لانه يعني هاي مش دولتي ولا اشي فيها بمثلني لا النشيد الوطني ولا العلم ولا التاريخ، تاريخ مش تاريخي هذا وال يعني الروايه التاريخيه ما بتمثلني انا. الروايه التاريخيه تبعتي مش موجوده بالكتب اللي الدوله بتوافق عليها. الروايه التاريخيه تبعتي انا بتعلمها لحالي. بتعلمها من البيت من الاصحاب من المعارف اللي حوالي فما بقدر احس حالي جزء من دول اللي بتقصيني كل الاشياء بالجامعات بتقصيني بالتعليم بالميزانيات بال كل شيء يعني كوني انا فلسطينيه معناته انت مش تابعه لل... لل... للاغلبيه ففي في قوانين اللي انت مش جزء منها فما بتقدر تتمتعي بالحقوق اللي الاغلبيه بتتمتع فيها. We are about 20% of the citizens of Israel uh, who are like around 1.3 million. Also that most Jews don't speak Arabic at all. Right? Yeah. This is a huge problem. Yeah. Uh, the majority of the Palestinians uh, we don't have in the army and that's not because we don't want even if I'm as a Palestinian I'm 18 they even don't send me a military call or how do you say yes. Palestinians that have Israeli citizenship yes how do they get it automatically if, for example I want to get married with a Palestinian who doesn't have the Israeli uh, citizenship or IDs, they are not allowed to register, we are not allowed to register uh, our marriage and our mm. children will not have, they won't have the chance to have the Israeli citizenship. <laughs> دعاية ضدك بدك تشوفي حدا بيعمل شيء ضدك عندك تفوتي على اذا بتحضر اخبار او او بتشوف بتحضر اخبار بتشوفي اخبار بتشوفي هذا اذا بتطلعي بتقعدي بمحل ولا تحضري شيء ولا يعني بكل محل بتحس حالك مش مش ملائم من المحل اللي انت فيه مين يعني بتحس بتسال حالك وين انت مع انه مرات بكون شوي صعب عليهم يعرفوا او يميزوا اذا انا يهوديه عربيه بناء على الشكل او اللبس بس انه مرات اه انه لما يعرفوا انه عربيه انه مش مبين عليك انه 
انه ايش مش معين يعني ايش يعني عندي قرون مثلا ولا ايش يعني انه ايش الاشياء اللي بتبين يعني طريقة اللبس طريقة الحياة ايش اللي بالضبط اللي المهم بفكروا انه كل بنت عربية لازم تلبس من اه هن هيك بتعرف يمكن عندها ذنب صح على الاخر Exhibition with Hussein and Yana will start for the exhibitions. I'm with the handbook. We let the small groups work, so we feel pretty. I want to a workshop, and I want to make sure it can. I will send it as well. Overall responsibility for each task. So David's going to be overall responsible for the handbook. He's also going to run probably, you know, at least two workshops a month on Lucia. I know that Abdullah is now working to translate some of the Lucia uh, posters. Mm -hmm. So I will just, um, we just will follow and see how many posters mm -hmm. we have. We'll have uh, several workshops within West Bank and uh, Jerusalem. So they just continue and I think I will join uh, one of the workshops and I will try to have my own uh, workshop. And also we have like a quiz idea to be done, but we are trying to post the posters at the square. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll just what? stick the Hill Square, we'll just stick the posters and run away. It's not sure. in that way we can say to people okay there's After the first meeting, Lisha project started off in Israel, Palestine and Egypt. A few months later, the representatives met again, this time in Berlin, where Lisha has its headquarters. When we go to the army, as I've been in the Navy Intelligence, when I'm going to the army, I'm in the army. I'm not a citizen anymore. And it's very hard. It's a conflict that every Israeli that turns down, he has. And if you say something or do something, you're automatically uh, uh, categorized. One of the beautiful things that I love in Israel is that you do have the opportunity to be free. Egypt is still in rebellion, basically. The opposition parties are not able to unite and help people, and every day there is a lot of crises to be faced. It's not an ugly reality, but it's a difficult reality on its way to becoming very beautiful, but it's a very painful and lengthy process. The Egyptian people are very creative people, as you can, you can tell by what happened to our revolution. Uh, it was all about finding different ways to send different messages and Lucha is an excellent tool for conveying messages in a very brief but mind-activating way. The Hamas parliament was kind of overthrown you can say and uh, Fatah took over in the West Bank but Hamas uh, is ruling Gaza. So basically Gaza and West Bank are separated by an area of land that is Israel. We, I, I can't really talk about freedom of speech because we don't really have much newspapers and uh, websites. Most of the newspapers that come out in Arabic inside Israel are uh, belong 
belongs to political parties, political Arab parties. So basically, it's not even safe to post your own thoughts on your Facebook page or on your blog because just some, someday someone might just come and pick you up. Freedom of speech hasn't reached its full potential in Palestine, but I think I think there is a lot of improvement in the few recent years. And hopefully Palestine will enjoy freedom soon, freedom of speech and freedom from occupation. So taking something small and making it big, and this was one from the Lucia International Office, which uses the sort of technique of exaggerate. Hey, I'm in love, and it's not even on the news. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the last two, stimulate and suggest, are more trying to make the reader of the poster really think about the topic. And then also a great one is humour. So again, this is about freedom of speech. Such a shame that people leave their freedom of speech for the toilet wall. <laughs> <laughs> for me, Lucia is also about creating a quality space for difficult subjects, uncomfortable subjects to be discussed, to understand different beliefs and different perspectives, and to promote creativity to get past some of the disagreements or different views that exist. Okay. Aim of the posters is to make people think, to make people stop, to often they make people smile and they make people see something in maybe a different way. Does the text have a message? Does the text say what you want to say about the topic? Is it innovative, new, fresh, or has it been said a thousand times before? So we're looking for something new. It's always a really nice thing to imagine yourself looking at that poster. So this is just a summary. A good text should be positive and progressive, tickles the mind, makes people smile, criticizes without judging or being moralistic, makes people think, challenges people, shows people a new way of looking at something they've taken for granted it can be easily read in different ways. Because we don't use punctuation, it's really important to organize the text uh, logically so it will be readable. So um, if it's a really long text, um, it's easier to divide it. You have a headline and you have the text or you have two kind of little paragraphs. So yeah, we meet back here at 12 o'clock to present the work. We will present it to the others later, after the break. And then uh, you do the same thing, but on a, like an actual A4 paper, so everybody can see it more clearly. And you... Okay. <laughs> okay. Next one. Uh, capitalism for sale. Limited offer and soon. I don't know, what do you guys think? I am I the only one liking it? Then we will run. <laughs> But I like the yeah. capitalism sold out. Ask. Svoboda. Hope. Respeto. Equality. Creativity. That's it. Elitism. Laila. Integrity and determination. Yetziratiyut. Avat khinam. Ezrachut peila. Frihet. Mubala. قبول الآخر الاحترام الحرية ميموش أتسمي سنيوت سوليداريوت سوليداريتيت 
Freedom. Love. Kompromiss. Jämlikhet mellan alla människor. Tolerans. Lata. Enak te kun nafsak. Ma tahawlish te ba hadd tani ghir nafsak. Avat adam. Te uza. Mudaut svivatit. Frihet. Never ends in sense of adventure. Tolerancia. Fun. The beauty of Lucia, the way of thinking and the beauty of, of Lucia methods is then the world would be how we would like it to be. Which, and, and we do already, I mean, create little pockets, little mm. spots where this is happening and we mm. try to make this sentiment spread, you know. Thoughts change to words and words change to actions and actions change in a character and character changes the destiny so getting people to really think and see things in a different way is, is really important within communities across Europe and across the world. In the next six months all the organizations prepared Leisha handbooks and publications in their own languages. They held local workshops, trainings and various community activities, among which they formed the materials for well-promoted exhibitions of Leisha posters. من العروضات تمثلت بالملصقات الإبداعية وعروض فردية كالشعر تمثلت بمعالجة موضوع الانكسام والدعوة إلى ولكنها تستطيع قصر الصم هي إحدى شعارات لوشا فلسطين Leisha crossed the Mediterranean and the activities started off in the Middle East offering people the ability to participate actively in building a tolerant society by a very simple and effective mean the poster Lucia, 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 Lucia,